Gotcha for the tentacles. 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 Octopus. Hello, Black and Ears. Today we are going to use TripAdvisor to help us know better, book better, and go better in Idaho. First, we are looking for things to do in Idaho Falls. This looks interesting, the Museum of Idaho. And let's go! We are in the town of Idaho Falls, and we are going to check out the Museum of Idaho. This is the Gem State's largest science and history museum, which houses thousands of artifacts. First, we're looking at the Discover Steampunk exhibit. Steampunk is a genre of science fiction that has a historical setting and typically features steam-powered machinery rather than advanced technology. We are going to interact with futuristic inventions and 19th century thinkers like Jules Verne and Isaac Singer in Vision. I like steampunk because of trains. First, we're learning about H.G. Wells and looking at a contraption from his book, The Time Machine. Where is the flux capacitor? Next is Thomas Blanchard, who pioneered the assembly line style of mass production in America. I'm cranking the wheel to operate the musical mannequin. <laughs> The following display is on Isaac Singer, the inventor of the sewing machine. Brother is activating the robot. It goes back and forth and back and forth. Mary Shelley is next. She is best known for her novel, Frankenstein. We are going to bring her creation to life. Now we're operating the theremin, a musical instrument played by moving your hands in electromagnetic fields. Brother's turning into a headbanger. Next is Jan Matziliger, who revolutionized the manufacturing of shoes. This section is on Jules Verne, author of Journey to the Center of the Earth and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I'm putting on a scuba helmet. Knock, knock, anybody home? Lastly is George Eastman, who popularized photography to the public. Now it's time for some steampunk cosplay. This one. <laughs> Smile, brother. Next, we're checking out the Exploration and Migration exhibit. <laughs> we're learning about the Lewis and Clark expedition and the variety of people who came to this region and shaped it. <laughs> the final exhibition is Eagle Rock, USA. This was when Idaho Falls was a dusty frontier town. We had so much fun here. Now let's search for the best thing to do in Blackfoot, Idaho. This place looks interesting. Let's go, Black and Mears. Our next stop is the Idaho Potato Museum. This museum provides information on potato history, the growing and harvesting process, and educational potato facts. Come on, brother, let's go learn about the spuds. The Spanish discovered the potato in 1537 and carried some on a return trip to Europe. The average American eats approximately 110 pounds of potatoes each year. That's a lot. The earliest known potatoes were discovered in South America, dating back to 400 BC. Now we're looking at some potato-related memorabilia. There are even potato superhero comics and a vest made of potato sack. Here is something from the Guinness Book of World Records. This is the world's largest potato chip. This is a real potato chip. Next, we're going to learn about the different variety of potato. What kind of potato is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. We're looking at some equipment for potato harvesting and watching a video on how it's done. Now we're going to play with the most famous potato of all, Mr. Potato Head. 
brother really likes mashed potatoes. Here's a shelf with more collectible items. Brother discovered something really creepy. Hello! Now we're going to get something to eat at the Potato Station Cafe. The baked potatoes take two hours to prepare, so order ahead of time before you tour the museum. I'm having the basic baked potato, my brother's eating french fries, and my parents got the topping of the day, cheddar broccoli. We even bought Reed's Gourmet Chocolate Milk, which has potato flakes in it. Cereal potato! Brother gives this place a signature thumbs up. Lastly, we're going to find the number one attraction in Pocatello, Idaho. Our final stop is the Museum of Clean in Pocatello. Founded by Mr. Don Aslett, this 77,000 square foot museum is devoted entirely to cleaning and cleanliness. First, we are going to check out Kid Planet with Mr. Brad. Do you guys recycle? Because we want to save our earth, don't we? And our resources and our energy. So we got plastic and we got paper and an aluminum can and re re reuse, repurpose. Next, he's showing us how to clean a window with a squeegee. Now we're stepping into this human vacuum cleaner. Yeah. We're going to explore Noah's Ark. There are many animals here made of cleaning tools. Watch out for the tentacles. That is fluffy monkey. Outside the ark, we saw a giant. This is the world's largest janitor, whose name is Big Dog. Let's play with plungers. looking at some funny exhibits. There are also many hands-on experiences here. Now I'm gonna wash my brain. This section is all about toilets. Wow, look at the size of that roll of toilet paper. Brother's bathing with his blue bear. Next is the orchestra of clean. Brother, do the squatch call. Ah! We're opening some trash cans to see what's inside. Ah! This section is on vacuum cleaners. It sucks. We went to the lower level and found more cleaning tools. Now we're sweeping the floor. Who's your new friend, brother? Lastly, we're going to play a bunch of silly games in this room. We even got to meet Mr. Don Aslan. Please hit the subscribe button and remember to know better, book better, and go better. Hello, Blockineers. We are on the moon. Wait, are we? No, we aren't. Just kidding. There's plans. Hello, Blockineers. Today we are going to use Travelocity to help us wander wisely on a road trip in Idaho. And our first stop is Arco. We are at the Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve, and today we'll be doing the Lunar Ranger program. This is a vast ocean of lava flows with scattered islands of cinder cones and sagebrush. Pro tip, if you are a fourth grader, you can get a free National Park Pass for your family at everykidinaparc.gov. 
Our first stop is the North Crater Flow Trail. This loop trail takes you onto the North Crater Flow, a Pahoehoe flow that spilled from the North Crater vent about 2,000 years ago. This place is so quiet that we can hear our footsteps. Be careful, don't scare the grasshopper away. Next, we're hiking up the Inferno Cone. Cinder cones form when gas-rich volcanic froth erupts high into the air and then piles into a mound. The climb to the top is very steep. We have reached the top and what a great view from here. The next trail is the Snow Cone Trail. This route is only 0.1 mile long. We reached the end of the trail and it only took 56 seconds. Why can't people just throw away their litter properly? This place is not a trash can. Now we're going on the tree mulch trail. This path winds through shrubs and stands of limber pine. We are going to skip this trail because we do not want to walk one mile there and one mile back. Lastly, we're hiking the cave's trail to the Indian Tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. A cave permit is required before entering any cave. This section feels like the moon because of all the volcanic rocks. We're looking at a lava tube, which is formed when the exterior of a flow cools while lava continues to flow beneath the surface. We have reached the entrance of the tunnel, and now we're going to enter the cave. And we hope to see some bats. Careful, brother, when you're climbing down the rocks. We made it down and it's time for a picture. Now we're going to climb towards that opening. Watch out for the roaming gnome. We're almost out of the tunnel. I see another cave up ahead. Unfortunately, we didn't see any bats, but we saw plenty of pigeons. Don't let them poop on your head, brother. There it is, the way out. Brother is the first to get there. We have reached the heart of the cave. Smile! Cheese! <laughs> Watch out for your head, watch out for your feet. Yikes, it's hot. The rocks are hot. Yay, we made it out alive. We're gonna follow these posts back to the parking lot. Look, it has an arrow. We have arrived at the visitor center. Brother and I are completing our Lunar Ranger activity booklets. We turn them in, said our pledge, and received our badges. We even got a stamp in our passport. We're now leaving Arco and driving to Twin Falls. Blockineers, we are at Shoshone Falls Park. Shoshone Falls is a waterfall in the Snake River. It is sometimes called the Niagara of the West. Whoa, what a magnificent sight. Let's go down for a better view. At 212 feet high, Shoshone Falls is 45 feet taller than Niagara Falls. This was cool, but we wish we could get closer to the falls. Lastly, we're departing Twin Falls and heading to Idaho Falls. Constructed in 1982, the Idaho Falls waterfalls were created for a hydroelectric power project. Come on, brother, let's go find something to eat. Now it's time for dessert at Reed's Dairy. This place is known for the world's greatest ice cream mate right on their farm. All their milk, cheese, and ice cream are farm fresh and delicious. 
Come on, brother. Let's see what flavor of ice cream they have. Oh, Rocky Row! Rocky Row? You can have that anywhere. Let's try a flavor that you can only find in Idaho. So the huckleberry is one of the flavors we're most famous for. Oh, uh, cookie and cream. Cookies and cream? That's even more common than Rocky Row. I'm having a huckleberry ice cream. This flavor is unique to Idaho. I do not want to share my ice cream. Brother gives it his signature thumbs up. I give this an 8 out of 10. 10 being the best. 8 out of 10. Please hit the subscribe button and remember to wonder wisely.